guys good morning now it's 6 20 and i'm ready to go to the gym i'm going to take my l-carnitine it's best to take in at least half an hour to an hour before the gym these are huge and they're pretty hard to swallow that's what she said the subtle games that you are playing and here is an espresso. What is the time? 6.30? The time is um, 6.33. 6.33. Yeah. I think we have to get up even earlier because he starts work at 8 a.m. Yeah, I gotta finish more or less until 8 a.m. started my workout with warming up on the treadmill. I do a very light jog of 10 minutes just to get my blood flowing. Today is week 3, day 2 of the Bull Mastiff program by Alex Bromley. Scam likely. Hey, please do not text to me. I'm trying to get it. Working to become the best in Starting with bench press. I did 4 sets of 6 at 65% of my 1 rep max. And that is 40 kilos or 88 pounds. I did as many reps as possible on the 4th set. And today I managed 14 reps. I'm trying to get it. Working to become the best in me. I'm doing my job. That includes working and keeping the rest. So up next the program says I had to do a tempo overhead press but I did a regular overhead press this time I chose the dumbbells over the barbell today 5 sets of 12 at an RP of 8 and I used the 12.5 kilos dumbbells or 27.5 pounds. People who hate it and now they say hello from the other side like their name was Adele. I cannot stop. That's from the box state to the east side to the coast. I'm catching every fade, talking every day to the mention J with the go. I take the grave shift on the pavement when I say this, listen close. I gotta get it when using these minutes and that's on the rain, hell, sleet, and snow. Talking in it, I ain't hearing you. Just such your words move and turn it physical. Your rhetoric is cheap and very typical. Was hoping that the captain was a minimal. Jalen start to rap, he turn his spirit to the gift internally. Go put some fear in you. We never worry, he goes with the spirit. Do I'm seeing hard and you see a miracle? Hey. Do not text to me. I'm trying to get it. Working to become the best in me. I'm doing my job. That includes whipping and keeping the recipes. Uh, I cannot stop. I gotta get it. Two legends are next to me. Uh, two legends are next to me. Hey, please do not text to me. I'm trying to get it. Next up is tricep extensions at the cable, 4 sets in the 12 to 15 rep range. The weight is kind of irrelevant to mention as I find that with different cables there are different tensions and thus a different difficulty and the weight varies. Bicep curls with the dumbbells, 4 sets in the 12 to 15 rep range. I managed 15 reps on all 4 sets with the 7.5 kilos or 16.5 pound dumbbells. Look, I need a shot, no chase. My girl need a wine and a steak. My mom need a house for the late. So I got some money to make. They told me I got what it take. So I gotta take it all back. I told them I need my pay. I need my 50 for taste. I done ran low on my patience. Make sure my time isn't wasted. I told them all that I've been real. They know that I cannot face shit. Funny how none of this makes sense. Now that I'm up with an A list. She tried to throw me the K now. Telling me happy belated. Got too much shit on my mind. I told my mom I'm fine. I told my girl that I'm stressed, but I'm gonna make it on time. I pray 
pray to God for these signs. He know I'm harder than try. Lately, I'm looking for real shit. The things that my money can't buy. They don't understand how the shit goes. How they all use you to switch goals. How they all speak when they need some. Then when you need them and they gone goes. They want the money and big rows. They use your name for a quick post. The same ones that told me. Last exercise is the rear delt flies with the dumbbells. Four sets of 12 to 15. I managed 15 reps on all of the sets, but with a really low weight of just 2.5 kilos or 5.5 pounds. I saw this shit, man, it gets so, but for now, I need a shot on a chase. My girl need a wine in the state. My mom need a house for the late. So I got some money to make. They told me I got what it take. So I gotta take it all back. I told them I need my pay. I need my 50 for tax. I need a shot on a chase. My girl need a wine in the state. My mom need a house for the late. So I got some money to make. They told me I got what it take. So I gotta take it all back. I told them I need my pay. I need my 50 for tax. So I am back home from the gym and I'm going to go take a shower because I desperately need a shower. I am still fasted. I will eat at around 12 p.m. And it's now 8.37. I have been running some errands yesterday, so I could not film a day in the life, but now as I'm home I can show you what I'm eating today and I have a couple of chores to do around the house. I haven't got the chance to make the bed in the morning. <laughs> So that's it, simple. I used to have all of these different size pillows like medium ones and smaller ones and even a smaller one in the center like you see in the <laughs> home catalogs and such and um, yeah, I have simplified it more minimalistic as I like it to be. Hello there. Before I go and take a shower, I have to pick my clothes. And uh, yes, we don't have in this room a mattress yet. I ordered a mattress on the 5th of January. And uh, yeah, it has still not arrived yet. I did not bother to iron this because we will change them soon. <laughs> so yeah, I have to pick my clothes before I get into the shower. So yeah, let me pick out, let me see what I'm going to wear after the shower. I think I'm going to choose this top. It's uh, hard with uh, one hand busy holding the camera. This top, side note, I have so many leggings that I cannot wear because they are one or two sizes too small for me. I think I'm going to choose these ones which are interesting from uh, Black Milk. I think they are a company from Australia if I am not mistaken. Anyway, what I wanted to say is that this company has very nice quality printed leggings. Let me quickly film my outfit so you can see the leggings from Black Milk. I am wearing the size M and I think it's a bit smaller and it should be on me but I like a tighter fit. husband is working. My kitchen is a mess. So this is the before.
took me like 15 minutes or I think 20. It was just a quick wipe down. This is my second espresso of the day. It's still only 11 and 19 minutes and uh, I'm going to wait until 12 o'clock to prepare the first meal of the day. Yes, we still have not put in a light in the kitchen. Also, the living. So we are looking at a new monitor to buy because we only have one and uh, my husband uses it for his work. So I need to, if in order to create more content and uh, push out more videos more often, I have to buy a new monitor so I can also work, also a new desk that I can work at because until now I only had time when he was off work and yeah, we have to get a new one. So this is the monitor that we are looking at. It's a Dell monitor. It's a Dell monitor IPS 27th inch. I think it's gonna be a good upgrade over what we have right now. It's pricey, the new but one. Yeah. this is still a budget monitor. Yeah. If you want a good monitor for editing, so. So purely for video editing, they just have enormous prices, like tens and thousands of lei. So monitors designed purely for video editing are extremely pricey. A good one, you know, costs thousands of dollars. So this is actually a budget one, so... But it's okay, it's better than what we have right now. What is the price in euro and in dollars? So it's um, around 350 euros and around 380 dollars. So it's a very good price for what it offers. Yes, and in lay it's 1739. It's still pricey for us, so it's pricey. For yes, for us someone it's pricey. from Romania it's pricey. Also we just moved so the expenses were quite high. <clears throat> yeah, but we really need another one because otherwise Maria I cannot actually do any work because I'm working from 8 to 5. He works from home. I'm working from home and she just right now doesn't have her own space to do content and edit. I only create content when I can, not when I want. And sometimes I really want to create something, I have an idea and I cannot apply it, and unfortunately. We're gonna get a white desk from Ikea. This is the one. It's... This is not very pricey, it's 799 lei. 800 lei and that's like... Our Romanian currency is lei. Euro. And that's like 162 euros and around 176 dollars, so it's quite nice. Yes, IKEA has affordable and I yeah. like the cable management on this yeah, desk. Yeah, and this one has cable management. It's in the pictures here, but... Uh, this one was from yeah. JISC and yeah. uh, another Scandinavian brand. It doesn't have any cable management, does it? No, it doesn't actually, yeah. You can see the cables. Yeah. So I'm going to use this PC, another monitor that is for me and this, a new desk. This is the keyboard that you'll be using. I'm going to use this keyboard. This is the mouse that you'll be using. I have yes. my own keyboard stashed away and I'm going to use this mouse right here. So fortunately, we only have to buy a desk and a monitor. Yeah. Also cool. a new camera because I'm filming on my phone. <laughs> yeah. So as Silvia is going to order the new monitor, it's uh, almost 12 and I'm going to prepare our first meal of the day. I keep the bread in the fridge, it lasts longer because we don't really eat enough bread in the week so it goes bad if we don't keep it in the fridge. Pro tip. <laughs> what do I need next? Avocado which should have been outside to ripen up and also some cheese. What's missing is some bacon. I think we forgot to buy bacon. We have bacon? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> no day without bacon. We can't find turkey bacon. 
this is pork. So these are all of the ingredients that you're gonna need if you want to recreate this meal. I love this meal and if you want more protein you can also add more egg whites because I'm going to, for two people, we're going to use five eggs and I'm going to eat only 100 grams of cooked eggs, whole eggs, in this meal. You can also, as I said previously, you can use maybe another two or three egg whites if you want more protein. It usually comes around at 30 grams of protein per meal. So we have here five whole eggs, six pieces of bacon. I'm going to cover them up and I'm going to cook them on medium heat. Keep an eye on them and when I see them crisp up, I'm going to take them off the heat and let them rest in the pan for two to three minutes before taking them out. The bread is with potatoes. So almost every day I eat white bread. White bread is also good and every day I eat a large piece cut in half. That's usually the maximum bread I have in a day unless I'm eating also a sandwich when I need more protein and I have to make a ham sandwich which is not ideal. Let me check on the bacon. So it's already starting to crisp up. You can see. Yes. I'm going to take them off the heat. Take it off leave it for two to three minutes as i'm preparing the rest and uh, weighing everything of course i used to flip my bacon but i found that this method is better and i find it even crispier it crisps up without having to turn every piece make a mess so when you are making bacon next time if you like bacon you can try this method 51 the toast is ready I don't always wash my avocado, but I read somewhere that uh, you're supposed to, so I'm going to do that. But usually I'm lazy and I don't wash my avocado, to be honest. Since I'm filming on my phone, I have to stop the recording and go into my fitness pal and weigh everything out. And I'm going to come back and show you the final product. Look how crispy it turned out. You can hear it. So you don't have to turn the bacon, just leave on the lid and cook them on a medium heat. Take them off the heat, leave them for a couple of minutes to rest with the lid on, take the lid off and enjoy. I want to quickly mention that I'm not using any oil and I'm cooking the eggs in only the fat from the bacon. So as I've mentioned, I'm going to have only 100 grams of whole eggs. Yes, this meal has 630 calories and 29 grams of protein. This is how 100 grams of eggs looks like. And this is Silvius, it's 156 grams, all which was from five whole eggs. This is our favorite meal. We like to eat this every single day. We only don't eat this if we miss something, like if we don't have any bacon, any avocado, but we also ate without avocado and all the ingredients, or without cheese and uh, every ingredient that's on here. But I highly recommend having the avocado, the cheese, the bacon, the toasted bread, and the whole eggs. Bon appetit! <laughs> Taking my vitamins, a neighbor decided it's a good time to make some work. So I have just taken fish oil, omega-3, D3, some magnesium and some zinc. And I'm also going to take ashwagandha. I take one in the morning and one in the evening. I'm sorry for the noise. A neighbor decided that it's a good time to make construction work. So I take this in the morning and in the evening. So I have it in my system at all times. This helps me better manage my stress and anxiety as it has a good effect on the stress hormone cortisol. As my next meal, I think I'm going to have the... 2% Greek yogurt. You have some frozen strawberries, but they are not uh, frozen anymore. They are just kept in the fridge so I can eat them quicker. To this combo, I'm going to add whey protein, the same vanilla ice cream that I used the last time. Whey the Greek yogurt have 300 grams. To this, I'm going to add whey, 30 grams to be exact. And I'm going to mix this very well. 
So it's all blended up the way with the Greek yogurt. I am going to put the strawberries, 150 grams. One hundred and fifty-two. I also added some cinnamon on top, and this meal totals at three hundred and forty-four calories and forty-three grams of protein. Also, my time says that it's been two hours since my last meal. I forgot to take in the morning my superfood, my greens, that I always take. Filming on a phone is such a chore. I just had to go into Google Photos and uh, select like 20 to 30 items and put them in my computer and it did not go as fast as I would have hoped. I spent more than half an hour just trying to have everything in my computer so I can't wait to have a new camera so this whole process is faster. So now I'm going to have my next meal, which is going to be a pudding from Lidl. It has 20 grams of protein. It's a convenient way to up your protein. It's also very tasty. Next meal is going to be some chicken breast. I'm going to cook it up in the air fryer. Also, I have some rice prepared from yesterday. A vegetable mix for soup. You saw me making this in my last video. This contains potatoes, peas, beans, carrots, cabbage, parsley root and parsley leaves. So first I'm going to eat the cream soup. I sprinkled a bit of black pepper. The chicken should be ready. Looks very nice. The rice. And the chicken usually after I take out the chicken from the air fryer I like to let it rest for at least five minutes before I'm eating it so the cream soup is going to be first 157 grams of chicken and 150 grams of rice so the time is 8 and 16 in the evening And I am going to wait a bit for my last meal. I would eat some peanuts or maybe some peanut butter with rice cakes. Some peanuts or some sweet bars that are covered in chocolate but they have cheese so they have more protein. Today's macro totals at around 1800 calories and 150 something grams of protein. I am feeling very tired. Decided I'm going to have the peanuts. So I can have exactly 31 grams and it's going to be a total for today of 2003 calories, 31 grams. These have 190 calories and almost 8 grams of protein. I'm going to quickly show you my fitness pal. So this is what I ate today, my greens, the first meal, the second meal, my snack, my last meal, and another snack. 2,000 calories, 164 grams of protein, 147 grams of carbs, and 77 grams of fat. 347 extra calories from exercise. I do not count in and I do not eat over my calories, even though I have exercised, even if I have 500, 600, 700 calories extra burned from my activity tracker. That's my Samsung health from my watch. Good night. So with all of that said, this is going to conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see you next time.